After an episode of a decade-long civil war, the United States came out as one of the strongest industrial economies in the world in the late 1800s, expanding the operational scale of its old industries to a new level. These industries include new sectors like petroleum refining, steel manufacturing, and electrical power which became very profitable industrial sectors in the next century. Railroads expanded all over the nation, connecting all the distant parts of the nation while creating new opportunities for the industries within those areas. These things pushed the whole United States to a new level through creating a new class of industrialists and a prosperous middle class and it was mainly contributed by millions of newly arrived immigrants from the European nations, as well as migrants from the remote areas of the country. So this diverse American workforce was the main engine behind running this newly industrialized economy. Today's video is dedicated to how industrial growth transformed America's economy into a totally new state, producing a new class of wealthy industrialists and a prosperous middle class. Before we proceed, Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon for more exciting updates. During the mid-1870s, especially after 1878, the American economy finally saw prosperity again after decades-long economic decline with the unstable political situation within the country. Within the next 20 years, the number of industries as well as workers employed in those factories doubled. If we express this growth in numbers, the aggregate annual value of all manufactured goods was increased from about $5.4 billion in 1879 to a value of around $13 billion in 1899. During this era, iron and steel were the main raw material for most of the industries, and the expansion of those sectors represented a key role in any of the industrialized economies in that era. During the period between 1800 and 1900, Annual steel production of the United States rose from 1.4 million tons to more than 11 million tons. The United Kingdom was the biggest iron and steel producer of the world, and at the beginning of the 20th century, the United States passed its former colonial administrators as the biggest iron and steel producer of the world. After 1870, many people started exploring the West which was full of resources, including mines and lumbers and the enormous profits generated through the exploitation of resources in the West were used to invest in the East. The railway network expanded into the West and South, creating extra demand for iron and steel as well. The introduction of the Bessemer and the open hearth processes in the production of steel was a significant advancement of the industry. After that, many new products like the telephone, typewriter, linotype, phonograph, electric light, cash register, refrigerator, and motor vehicles were introduced becoming the base for new industries. With time, petroleum fuels became the most popular power source of many industries creating new opportunities within the industrial sector. With the increase of their production capacity, United States started to export their products to the international market and they were able to generate huge amounts of foreign revenue through those trades. The amount of money generated through the export of gold and silver rose from $590 million in 1877 up to $1,371,000,000 $1 in 1900. Before industrialization, agriculture was like the backbone of this Western nation, and even after industrialization, this sector was boosted with a new energy, expanding its operations. Agricultural products like cotton, wheat, flour, and meat products became the main export items in the early stages. But with the development of technology all over the globe, fossil fuels became one of the most essential commodities in the international market. So, the U.S. expanded the export of its petroleum products, and it became the leading non-agricultural export item in the first part of this industrialization. Americans who were born in the 1840s and 1850s experienced the most interesting transitions of this industrialization process, as they had to enjoy enormous changes in every sector of society. As an example, people experienced the transformation of the main source of light from a candle to a kerosene lamp and then to an electric bulb within a very shorter interval. Their main transportation methods were transformed from walking and horsepower to gasoline-powered motor vehicles and steam-powered locomotives. Before this rapid industrialization, Americans were traditionally involved in agricultural activities, spending a very simple lifestyle. But after this rapid industrialization, People had to experience extra competition for living as millions of immigrants moved to the U.S. searching their fortunes. So, 
Most of the rural areas within America became large growing cities, and people had to find new sources of income other than agriculture to adjust with the new economy of the country. As we mentioned in the topic, this industrialization within America produced a new class of wealthy industrialists and a prosperous middle class as a large sum of money was flown into the hands of Americans through these newly established industries. When comparing the wealth of the industrial magnates and titans of the industries in the late 1800s with the modern-day top technology investors, adjusting with the present inflation rates, they are few levels above the modern billionaires in terms of wealth. The wealth of people like John D. Rockefeller, Cornelius Vanderbilt, Henry Ford, and Andrew Carnegie are estimated to be hundreds of millions of dollars, far exceeding the wealth of people like Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and Jeff Bezos. With the expansion of industries, factories, and commercial enterprises, investors needed people to run their businesses smoothly to maximize their profit. So, companies demanded the services of educated people to work as bookkeepers, managers, and secretaries, as they had key roles to perform within those newly established industries. They were not limited only to men, educated women were also recruited for these jobs. This was the point that paved the way for the clear emergence of the wealthy and educated middle class centering around industrialization. This middle class had surplus income, and they spent that money on consuming expensive goods and services, creating further opportunities in the supply chains. Some middle class people invested those surpluses in their own small-scale businesses and industrial models, creating the way for large businesses and industries later. However, a huge financial inequality can be identified in this era as the money was centered around more wealthiest ones as there were no proper regulations to control the distribution of money. So, wealthy individuals and a prosperous middle class emerged under these as low levels of regulations allowed the successful ones to collect money as they wish. In 1890, only 1% of the society controlled 25% of the total wealth of the country. They had the power to create jobs and opportunities for others to survive in the early stages of this industrialization. Even though a large proportion of the society enjoyed considerable economic prosperity with the rapid industrialization that happened all over the nation, there were some groups which had to experience hardships even in this period as well. Employers involved in certain type of industries were unemployed for a considerable period throughout the year. Their salaries were still low even in the periods that they got some works to earn money. This led to the creation of labor unions to protect the rights of the labors. After the beginning of the 20th century, many global political issues like World War I and II happened, creating the opportunity for the U.S. to stand as a global supplier with the decline of the main European nations. They surpassed Britain as the global leader with the vast technological and economic advancement that they experienced continuously. So, industrialization began in the 1870s, led to the development of this newly established state as the global leader of world politics and economics as the final output. What do you think about the industrialization process of the United States and the new class of industrialists and middle class established behind it? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel to get more historical economic stories. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.